don't buy backlinks. But everybody else is doing it. But everyone else is gonna get caught. Well, not really, but I'm gonna take you through why it goes unnoticed, why people do it, and a better alternative to buying backlinks. And actually buying backlinks isn't against Google's policy, so we're gonna look at the actual policy on what Google recommends and what they say is against their policy. I'm excited to share this one with you guys, but before I jump in, I wanna say thank you so much. This is my one year anniversary of being on YouTube and I've uh, you know, just got a lot of thanks for you guys for all the support you guys have thrown me. The channel has done super well. Um, the support's been really great and I'm very excited to see what we can accomplish in the upcoming year. Now there's a lot of stuff that Google is ambiguous about and people have theories of whether or not they use a certain metric or whatever, but links are something that they have confirmed do help your ranking. And that's why so many people go and seek links from other companies and they're purchasing them, they're doing shady stuff, and they're trying to get as many people to link to them as possible. And they're trying to get to link to them with the money keywords which are essentially keywords that are not branded, searched in volume, and are converting keywords. Like, instead of saying, like, visit attorney's website, the anchor will say, like, personal injury attorney. And that's a great signal to Google that that website is a personal injury attorney website, but it's also potentially a signal to Google that they're participating in link schemes. So why do people do it? Well, I get it. The pressures of the SEO industry are very high. When you see somebody successfully ranking for something because they purchased so many backlinks, it's really hard to be doing the right thing and not seeing the same results as them. But it's going to catch up to most people eventually. Now, the way that their algorithm works is they have a uh, basically a confidence level that somebody is participating in a link scheme. And Google doesn't want to ding people that are not participating in it or they're not very sure on it. It's kind of the same thing like that your fraud detection will use at your bank. Sometimes they might like be over cautious and flag something as fraud when it's not. But that one, it's typically a little bit better to err on the side of caution um, because they would rather stop fraud before it happened. And if it's right, then you just text them back and say, nope, this was me and try again. But with link schemes, it seems that Google really wants to be like 100% confident. And that's a type of setting you can tweak in a machine learning model, which is probably what they're using to figure out who's participating in link schemes and, and kind of how it works is they basically train the model by saying like these are known link schemes that like we as humans identified go machine learning model go identify the patterns that we can use to identify other link building schemes that we don't know about and so these other link schemes have to be you know very similar to the ones they've already identified and they also have to be like very participating in it you know it can't just be like one here one there it's somebody who's doing it in volume and so volume is going to be a key thing to avoid if you do want to continue buying links now i do not endorse buying links at all i'm going to show you an alternative method to gaining quality links but if you continue to buy links and, and not take my advice i'm going to show you some ways that you can probably you know get around it and go long-term buying links without getting caught. Now this is something I don't do, but I, I have a pretty sound understanding of how the industry works. So I think my advice is good, but there's other people that have done this like a lot longer and um, buy links for a really long time. So they might have some other insights on this. All right, first let's look at what Google says is okay and not okay. First of all, this is Google explicitly saying that they use links to determine reputation. And beyond that, quantity is more important than the quality of links. And as a result, SEOs go and engage in sketchy practices. And what they're saying is not all paid links violate our guidelines. And so it's really, it's okay to go and buy paid links, but it has to fall within uh, their guidelines here. And so what they're saying is if you buy a link, it must have a no follow um, attribute attached to the link, which tells Google to not pass the page rank from the uh, the linking website to your website. Now that's why most people buy links is because they want to get that page rank. But the fact is, Google actually, I, I think I've heard someone say from Google that they recommend guest posting here and there. It's really great to be able to post on somebody else's website that has like an audience that is a, a real audience and not just like a guest posting website. To be able to get your content out there, your name out there, on there you link back to your website and so other people can click from that website to your website and you can gain traffic and exposure that way. But it's not going to help your page rank, which is what people are in it for. Additionally, if you're like buying ads and stuff like that, they have to link to your site. And so there's specific attributes. It's the relevance attribute where you put no follower sponsored in there. And there's some other ways to do it too, but that's the primary way to say, 
I bought this link, Google, and you know, it's okay, I'm gonna follow your guidelines because we're putting no follow in there. Now here's what Google actually says are link schemes. And it's, it's cool to know what they say because you'll see like what's actually not allowed and, and how we can uh, do it right and naturally. So they say that buying or selling links um, you know, for, for money, for exchange of goods or services, um, or you know, offering someone a free product in exchange that they're gonna review your product link back. Um, you don't really want like an exchange of services or money or anything like that. You, uh, but you can do link exchanges. And so what they say is excessive link exchanges, you know, link to me, I'll link to you, um, are against their policy. But here and there is okay, it's natural. And honestly, it would go undetected because they wanna be like very confident that you're engaging in something like this. So it's okay to do link exchanges here and there. Um, and then they also say large scale article marketing or guest posting with keyword rich anchor text links. So you can do small scale guest posting with rich anchor texts, but not large scale. And it seems like you can do large scale guest posting. That was always my interpretation. As long as you're putting no follow out there, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna show you an example of somebody who does this very um, unnaturally and why Google is going to pick up on this if they haven't already. And so I've redacted their domain name from um, this because I don't wanna like, call them out or anything, but what we're looking at here is their top anchor text linking to them. So all the different websites that link to them, what, is, what goes in the link text? And this is very, very unnatural. The first one, two, three, four, five anchor texts are money keywords. These are all obviously paid for. Um, 13 people linking for Accident Lawyer San Antonio. Obviously, he's trying to rank for that. And if he gets websites linking to him with that anchor text, that's an amazing signal to Google that they're a trustworthy source for that keyword. But too much of this, and that's also a major red flag to Google. So I'm not sure if this one has been caught by them or not, but as time goes on, and if they keep doing this, their confidence that this is a link scheme is going to build and they're gonna manual action this website. Now, as you can see, after these first five money keywords, there are natural ones. If you look at like a website that hasn't participated in link building schemes, no text is a big one. Their website name is a big one. Website, here, go now, click here. Those are all very, very natural anchor texts. Putting money keywords in there is a sure way to um, get caught. And I'll show you how to not get caught or at least like the way I think you wouldn't get caught if you were to do it this way later on. Okay, I'm not gonna go over the rest of them because they're a little bit um, less common and like especially the one, these ones, don't be commenting on people's websites with your backlink, that's just total spam. Um, but the, the, the big ones are guest posting, buying links, buying niche edits, okay? So that's all against their policy. Basically what they're trying to accomplish is getting rid of unnatural links. They want links being editorial choices, not you know a marketing company's choice. Uh, or not a paid choice or an exchange for services choice. So we need to find natural ways for other websites to link to us. Now, the most ideal and pure way in Google's eyes is that you put out great quality content and the links will naturally come, which is true, but there's a way you can like increase the, um, the volume at which they'll come. And there's a couple ways to do that and I'll, I'll touch on them here. Okay, the ways I'm gonna talk about have to deal with reaching out to the editors of a website and suggesting backlinks from their website to yours. Now, this is still pretty natural. I mean, you're kind of presenting them the opportunity, but at the end of the day, they're not getting paid for it and, and they're still having the choice to be able to do it. And a great way to do that is one of them is by writing reviews for companies write a very great quality review. Don't just do it to like reach out and ask for a backlink, write an honest quality review, and then go to that company. And with all of these, you're gonna wanna do several things. You're gonna wanna present the exact location you want them to backlink on. People are busy and they're doing something that is benefiting you, and I'm gonna show you how it benefits them too. But still, you wanna take as much work off their plate as you can. So show them where you're going to backlink what the exact phrasing will be if you need to add a sentence to their blog post or whatever, you know, just give it to them in quotes, write for their blog so they can copy and paste it, give them your blog link. And then I would also exchange the value, tell them what's in it for them. And so I recently did this and um, I'll, I'll kind of give you like a, 
I don't want to give away exactly what I did for like what company because I don't want you necessarily copying it. But say I were to do like a review for a company. So I'm looking at my water bottle, it's a swell. So say if I were to do like swell review. And what I did was I searched for swell review and there were the entire first page was um, swell review by 10 different companies. And I went through every single one and I identified what the consensus was from the post. So did they suggest swell or did they not? And then uh, the ones I was doing, like based it on, you know, five to 10 different points. So, you know, the color, the quality, the, the size, whatever. And I identified how many of them were in favor of Swell and how many of them were not. What ended up happening was there were only two out of the 10 results on the first page that were in favor of the company I was writing about. And so to them, that's just like a huge opportunity for them to link back to my post because if they do it, my post is going to climb the rankings and probably rank on the first page. It was a very quality post. It'll probably get up there naturally with time. But if it's more competitive or you don't want to wait for this time, reach out to them with that opportunity. So I gave them the exact text I wanted to say on their page, what page it was going to be on my page that they were going to link to and the, the reason why the, what's in it for them. And I think that argument that I made, you can't say no to it. Why wouldn't you want to link to my blog to get another positive review on the first page? Now that was for like company review. Another tactic is to compare two companies. So, you know, Swell versus whatever other water bottle brand and do the same type of tactic, except in this one, you're just comparing two of them. So you can say when people are searching for you versus your competitor, X amount of them on the front page are for your competitor. If you link to me and these guys will get what the linking will do, but I want to get my post on the front page to get more people um, viewing your blog. And I even told them what was in it for me. I wanna grow my blog and I also wanna affiliate for you. All right, now if you say, hey John, uh, that's too much work. I'm not about it. Um, I'm gonna continue buying backlinks. Well, I'm gonna show you some ways that I think would be uh, good advice for you if you're gonna continue going down the, uh, the so-called wrong path. All right, so first of all, quality over quantity. I just mentioned that one. Don't go finding every website that will link to you. Um, because first of all, if they're willing to link to you without much money or uh, quality content or whatever, they're doing that for everybody else and they're going to get caught eventually. So go for quality websites. I'd rather have you spend, you know, $1,000 on a, a link or a guest post than paying 50 and going on a low quality website. The other thing is you want to make sure that your anchor text backlink profile is going to be very natural. So you don't necessarily want your top keyword uh, for your top anchor having a money keyword in there. So if you're a marketing company, you don't want it saying marketing company. You want it to be like, click here, your website URL, go, all the stuff that naturally happens when you're building links. And then you can sprinkle in some of the quality keywords, your money keywords below your, uh, your main natural anchor texts. Now, maybe you do have one that goes above your natural ones. I think that should be okay, but don't do it in crazy volume. Just maybe a couple here and there. And that's going to be really a lot to get your website moving in the right direction. Now, the other thing is you don't actually have to go for money keywords. You can just have them link with a natural anchor text, you know, visit here or your brand name because you're still going to get the page rank. And that's a huge, huge part of getting backlinks. You know, it's, it's not all about them linking with your keyword that you're trying to rank for that helps, but it's also going to increase your chances of getting caught. So, either you know do it very infrequently or the ones you do buy make sure that they're very like natural anchor text your web domain your brand name stuff like that now i'll show you a tool that i actually haven't really used before but i've seen other seo pros use this and it's a great tool for measuring the quality of a website if you should obtain a backlink from them or not the tool is called majestic and they have several metrics that help you identify uh, the quality of the links pointing to a URL, the quantity of links coming from that URL, uh, and you have other stuff too to find like, you know, desirable editorial style links on high trustful pages. And, and they're really trying to give you really great link insights on how to go out there and purchase links that aren't from these websites that link to everybody and that aren't going to provide you any value and that they're going to get caught and that could come back to bite you in the future. So potentially check out this tool if you're very adamant on going out and buying backlinks. This is going to help you identify the ones that are 
um, of quality and that are going to look the most natural. All right, so don't be buying backlinks. You guys get the point of great tactics to obtain quality links. Dilute your anchors if you are going to be buying backlinks. Find quality websites that aren't linking out to everybody, but I really don't recommend buying backlinks. Google is only getting smarter. They're going to find more and more link schemes and their goal is to find the websites that are doing this naturally. They wanna promote you. They don't wanna give credit to the people who are breaking their policies. So really guys, do if you're gonna buy backlinks, do it very sparingly and intelligently, but I would do the tactics I mentioned to obtain quality backlinks. I hope you guys are going to go grow your websites through these methods. Thank you guys so much for your support, for watching until the end, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.